we saw in the diagram over here that when A is a subset of B, we can represent the sets A and B in the form of circles and the circle representing the set A would be completely enclosed within the circle representing the set B. Now in this particular example, we find that A is not only enclosed within B, but the size of A, the size of the set A is smaller than the size of the set B because B has some extra elements that A doesn't have. So here A is not just a subset of B, we say that A is a proper subset of B. We looked at a problem in a previous video where we saw that we can say that A is a subset of itself regardless of what the set A is. But usually when we think of a subset relationship, we, are, we, we have in mind a picture of a set A which is completely contained within the set B, which is not equal to B but which is smaller than B in size. So we define, we define a proper subset of a set B as a subset that is necessarily smaller than B in size. It has fewer elements than B. So in this case, A would be a proper subset of B.